Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring frame relay uh, using point to multi point. So, as you can see here, I have three routers router one, router two, and router three. And what I'm going to do now is get the frame relay switch in GNS3, drag it over, right click on it, go to configure. Uh, then I'm going to do my frame relay mapping statements. So uh, for port 1, I'm going to use DELC 102, and the destination side of that is going to be port 2, and it's going to be 201. Also, I'm going to use again port 1, and that's going to be at DELC 103, and the destination side is going to be port 3, and that's going to be 301. And that's all I need. So now I have router 1 is the hub. As you can see here, it's got ports. Uh, it's got one port, which is port one, and it's using DELCs 102 and 103 that it's mapped to. And as you can see here, I have router two. It's using port two, and it's going to be mapped 201. So it's going to be mapped to router one. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can see here we have port three, and port three is going to be used by router three and it's going to be uh, using DELC301. So that's it. So go ahead and hit OK. <clears throat> and now what we need to do is go ahead and uh, get our serial links going on. So again, router 1, if we click on that, click to the frame relay switch, we're going to choose port 1. Then router 2, we're going to choose port 2. And then router 3, we're going to choose port 3. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the routers, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get our point frame relay point to point uh, configuration uh, going up. Going. Okay, now that I have my routers started, um, what I'm going to do here is just draw out the network topology. Uh, again, on router one to connect to router three, we're using DELC one zero three. To connect to router two, we're using DELC one zero two. Then from router 2's perspective, we're using the local DELC 201. And then for router 3, we're using DELC 301. Okay, and we're also using a point-to-multi-point -point, uh, point -to -point frame relay configuration. So in this configuration, what we're going to do here is router 1's the hub. And we're going to have router 2 and router 3 be the spokes, and we're all three going to be in the same subnet. So the subnet we're going to use is 192.168, let's keep it simple, with 1.0 slash 24. So router 1 is going to be the dot 1. Router 2 is going to be the dot 2. And router 3 is going to be the dot 3. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, start configuring these routers. Let's go to uh, router 1 first. We'll go under the sub, uh, the serial interface. So interface 010, and we'll specify encapsulation frame relay to get frame relay up and going. Are the frame relay encapsulation type. So what we're going to do now is we're also going to go interface 010, and we'll specify uh, the command interface 010 and then so what we want to do here is configure a sub interface so we're going to do interface 010 and then here we'll just do uh, sub interface we'll just name it uh, 23, basically router 1's uh, connection to router 2 and router 3. And then if we do space and then question mark, you can see here that we have point-to-point -point and multi-point. So what we're going to do is multi-point. 
then hit enter. Then we're under sub interface mode on the multi point. We're going to configure our IP address, which is 192.168.1.1, then slash 24. And then just like with point to point, under the multi point configuration uh, for our endpoints for router 2 and router 3, we're going to use the uh, frame relay interface Delsi command. And we're going to tie this to the Delsies connecting to router 2 and router 3. So we'll do router 2 first, which router 1 uses Delsi 102 to reach router 2. And then we'll exit from there. And then we'll hit the up arrow twice, and then we'll use Delsi 103 to connect to router 3. Okay, then we're going to go back to the physical interface, and we'll do a no shut. And now router 1 should be good to go. Okay, so let's go to router 2. And for router 2, we'll go ahead and go under uh, interface 010, specify encapsulation frame relay, and hit enter. Then under the physical interface, what we'll do is we'll use a static map. Actually, before we do that, we'll, we'll put our IP address in here. It's IP address 192.168.1.2 slash 24. And now, if we uh, look on router 1 and do a show frame relay map, you can see here that I don't have any uh, frame relay connections. Alright, so if I go back to router 2 and I do a frame relay and we do map IP then what we'll do here 